hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is crystal and thank you for stopping by but if you want to see this hair look i will show you in So I'm starting on a five day old braid out. My hair is pretty dry. Um, so now I'm just applying a lot of gel. Gel definitely is the key to this hairstyle because I want it to be very sleek. And so I'm going around all of my hair, well the perimeter, with the new Eco Styler Coconut Oil Gel. It's bomb, like I love it already. I'm about to use it in like all of my hairstyles now. And I also paired that gel with the Cantu Shea Butter Extra Hold Edge Control. So I'm brushing it through with the Denman brush and going back and forth with the hard bristle brush. Another thing, I wet my hard bristle brush before I even started this hairstyle. So you want your hair to be a tad bit damp on the areas that you're brushing because you want to protect your hair. You don't want to go in with a hard bristle brush and just start ripping it with the brush. Um, so if you don't want to wet your brush, you can always spray the perimeter of your hair with like a leave-in conditioner, something to make it softer, make it more pliable and things like that. You'll also see that I'm not brushing my hair all the way to the end simply because I don't really feel like this hairstyle needs for me to detangle all the way through. And I'm also going to like pull my hair. I'm just stretching it um, in the center of my head because I'm not necessarily brushing that part but I want it to be as flat and I want my little ponytail or bun or whatever to be as big as it can so I just want to stretch the roots that's why you see me pulling it you're going to see me smooth my hair with my hands right after I'm brushing a section simply because it just helps it lay even flatter so this really helps um, it helps blend in product and your hair all at the same time sometimes when you brush your hair it can leave little flyaways sticking up but going over it with your hands really helps So now I'm taking some Marley hair. I think I have about six to seven strands. And I want to start off with a little bit of hair simply because it's just gonna be easier for us to work with. So I'm not putting this on a rubber band or anything. I know some of you may have seen that method, but sometimes I want to reuse my Marley hair and if I can't get it off of the rubber band, then that's annoying because it gets snappy. So I'm just going to put it in the back of my hair, crisscross it in the front, and wrap one side all the way around at a time. So you want to wrap your hair in opposite ways. One for security purposes, and it just helps it give a, a better look to it, I think, and to give that more ninja bun feel, or a top knot. So now I'm going to do the same method, but this time I'm going to wrap the hair from the front and I'm going to kind of tighten it. I want the base of my bun to be, um, I want it to look natural, so I want it to look skinnier at the base and then whatever shape of the bun at the top. Uh, it just helps it make it look more natural because I've done it where the bottom looked kind of wide and it was just ugly, personally.
Make sure that you secure your ends with bobby pins or make sure that you tuck the ends. Marley hair doesn't really unravel too much, especially when your ends are kind of uneven. Um, like you see here, like you see one long skinnier piece and when you layer your hair like that before you install it, it's very, very, very easy to tuck. So to get your desired look of your bun, um, you can tease it like I'm doing here. I'm not necessarily messing it up, but I just felt like my bun was way too neat for my style. So I'm just pulling it apart, kind of making it wider and giving it more of a shape to it. And I'm just going to bobby pin it back in place and yeah, and then I'm going to lay my baby hairs. Um, let me know if you want to see a separate tutorial on that because I can do it for you.